What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. It is Trey here and we are going to be discussing some new things that were shown at preview night of San Diego Comic Con 2018. Ringside Collectibles and Mattel were obviously there showcasing all of the new figures that we are going to be getting. It was only preview night though. They did not show everything but we did get some teasers and some cool things shown off that I want to go ahead and show you guys. And of course tomorrow will be a whole lot more coming so definitely turn on your bell for notifications and subscribe to the channel so you guys will not not miss out on those new figures being shown but let's go ahead and get straight into it so the biggest thing that was shown is this right here guys as you can read it says wwe epic moments undisputed era three pack celebrating the unstoppable faction that's defining a new era in nxt with three first time in the line figures kyle o'reilly bobby fish and adam cole bay bay this is going to be an absolutely beautiful set, guys. We're going to get an Undisputed Era 3-pack, three, 3 Elites, Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, and, of course, Adam Cole to replace all of your Bullet Club custom Adam Coles. It's going to be such an incredible set. I cannot wait to see these. They did not show us the figures tonight, but they will be showing them off tomorrow, so they will be in tomorrow's video covering all of San Diego Comic-Con's reveals, so definitely be on the lookout, guys. This is going to be an amazing set. Probably the most hyped thing coming out of Comic-Con, I'm sure, but uh, there are also some other things they showed off tonight so we're going to go ahead and get into those but I cannot wait to see what this Undisputed Era 3 pack looks like. So the first figure that was shown right here, guys, is the new Elite 61 Big E to go along with our Elite 60 Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods New Day set in the America Ice Cream attire. I'm loving this. I think this is definitely the best New Day set they've released out of, you know, their first ones in Elite 43, their uh, Elite uh, 52, I think it was, and now we have this, and of course the Toys R Us exclusive three-pack. This is definitely the best attire they've had. The yellow boots really bring this thing together, and I cannot wait to see the rest of the Elite 61 set tomorrow. So right here, guys, we have just a big wall of figures that they always show at Comic-Cons and different shows. If you'll see that row at the top, you have, like, uh, the empty spaces with the yellow stickers. I believe that is the stuff that will be shown tomorrow. Those same yellow stickers were shown on the Undisputed Era 3-pack, so I'm pretty sure all of those figures right there will probably be Elite 61, 62, and pros possibly 63, so I cannot wait to see. I know for sure it'll be Elite 61 and 62. We may get to see 63, but at the bottom, you'll see, uh, in the bottom left corner, you'll see the new Carmella Elite, the new Daniel Bryan, Mojo Raleigh, Akira Tozawa Elites down in the bottom left corner that we saw at a couple uh, shows ago, I remember. can't remember if that was Comic-Con or what that was. Maybe it was like Ringside Fest or something, but I do remember those figures. But I cannot wait to see them fill up those spaces tomorrow. We're going to definitely find out, you know, what figures they are. It's going to be an amazing day tomorrow. But uh, for tonight, we did get, uh, you know, th this wall of figures and we did get the Big E reveal as well as those Mojo Elite. I think it's supposed to be the new Fan Central Elites in the bottom left corner, but uh, cannot wait to see what fills up these booths tomorrow. Next up, guys, we have this massive WWE action figure setup. How cool would it be to go to San Diego Comic-Con next year and like do a WWE figure setup at the Mattel booth of all of this? I think that would be really cool. But anyways, you see back there where it says SmackDown Live. Apparently, that's supposed to be a new Mattel entrance stage releasing, and if that's true, guys, we're going to have epic pick-fed stages uh, in the future because I'm going to be changing the graphics and you know putting some stuff around it that would be amazing to get but I don't know if that's confirmed maybe it'll be confirmed tomorrow that we're getting that but I did see a rumor going around that that's possible as you can see Sting is actually on top of the stage over there so that's sort of what makes me think that you know you put that together you build it you have the platform and the ramp that would be such an amazing piece but uh, I guess we'll find out tomorrow. You see all the SmackDown Live logos and stuff. But this little epic setup right here is so cool. I wish I could be there to see. Maybe next year we can go and vlog it and show you guys, you know, a close-up of it. But again, you have even more of those yellow stickers in the back of more figures we're going to get to see. So I'm hoping we get to see 61, 62, and 63 tomorrow. That's going to be very, very sick. But I love this arena. If we get this entrance stage, I'm, I'm going to lose my mind. I'll probably buy like four of them. But uh, let's move on to the next thing. The last thing I have for you guys tonight is these new retros right here, guys. In the ring, you can see we are getting Chris Jericho, Sheamus, Kurt Angle, and HBK. I am loving that Shawn Michaels. I've been wanting an elite in that attire for so very long. I wish they would give us more long pants attire. Shawn Michaels, you know, when he returned during the Ruthless, uh, Ruthless Aggression era, I think that would be beautiful. I believe that's like his WrestleMania 24 attire where he retired uh, Ric Flair, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, yeah, so we're getting these retros. You saw the other stuff, the Big E, the Undisputed Era 3-pack, and the setups. Tomorrow, again, guys, definitely be on the lookout. We're going to be getting a whole lot more reveals, so I will definitely be posting about it, updating you guys, showing you guys all the brand-new figures, so definitely come back. 
you want my thoughts on all of those figures and what we're getting, definitely turn on your bell for all notifications so that you will not miss that. They will be going up on the channel and giving you my thoughts and everything that we're going to be getting from San Diego Comic Con. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, tomorrow is going to be a big day. I believe even the day after that, we're going to get even more. So uh, I guess we'll have to see. But uh, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.